everybody. You know, it was so much fun yesterday to show you my CD collection, and you guys really responded well to it, so I'm going to continue it today, and then I'll wait until next week to continue it some more. I think tomorrow I'm going to put up uh, a short that I shot when I was working on a friend's movie, and at the lunch break I shot a little short there uh, at, the, at the movie set. So I think I'm going to edit that together today and put it up for you guys tomorrow. But uh, first of all, a lot of metal fans accept my apologies that I never went through a metal phase Sure, I have some ACDC. I have some like Back in Black and Dirty Deeds and stuff like that. But I, you know, and I, I like Led Zeppelin. But that's as far as I go, like even toward metal. So I'm not. I don't know. I have I have Metallica's documentary in my queue uh, on Netflix. So I'm waiting for that. Um, also, surprisingly, a lot of you really like Phil Collins. So here on the channel, you guys like Metallica and Phil Collins. So you know, go figure. Um, Oh, and, and there's a lot of stuff that I don't have here because, you know, it's, it's on my iTunes. Um, things that I missed, I, I, a lot of my bands that I absolutely love in the A, B, and C that I didn't cover here yesterday, like Apples and Stereo, uh, Antony and the Johnsons, they're awesome. Uh, Ass Ponies. Are there any Ass Ponies fans? Uh, Bell and Sebastian. Listen, if you don't know Bell and Sebastian, do yourself a favor and get Dear Catastrophe Waitress. That's so good. Uh, Billy Bragg. I love him. Uh, Blitz and Trapper. Especially the album Fur, you gotta get that. Uh, Clem Snide, uh, The Circle, for you 60s rock and roll fans, stuff like that. Kim is shooting for me today. You can wave hello if you like. There's, there's Kim. Uh, let's start on the third row, and I'll try to get through these a little quicker. So you can uh, see, I've got some, you know, I got, you'll notice that there's a lot of 70s stuff, because I grew up in the 70s. I was a child of the 70s, and I was like ages 2 through 12 in the 70s. So that's why I have, you know, uh, Jim Croce and, uh, Crosby, Stills, Nash, a lot of Crosby, Stills, Nash, Crosby, Stills, Nash, and Young. If you don't know Crosby, Stills, Nash, and Young, boy, start with their, their first album. Crosby, Stills, and Nash, and, uh, and Deja Vu, their second album. Oh, my God. That's, that's good music. That's good music. And then over time, they got worse and worse. It's true. It's true. Let's see. Uh, God, I never listen to Sheryl Crow anymore. But Crowded House, they're good. This probably is my favorite. Temple of Low Man. Or maybe Woodface? Woodface kind of kicks ass. Um, their new albums, pretty good. Their latest, not so good. Intriguer, not so good. But I'm glad they're back together. Uh, Brett Denon. Brett Denon is awesome. Um, so Much More is probably my favorite Brett Denon album. He's a, he's a singer-songwriter. Kim's wiggling because she, she loves Brett Denon also. Uh, no, yes. I'm wiggling because he wiggled when he performed. Oh, yes. He, yes, you're right. He did wiggle when he performed. And, uh, okay, listen, we talked about things that I can be embarrassed about. Yes, I have John Denver's greatest hits. I have it. What are you going to do about it? What, what are you going to do? I have it. And right next to him, right next to John Denver, Neil Diamond. Yes, I've got that, too. What, what are you going to do about it? Uh, Chris Difford. One of the two people responsible for Squeeze, and uh, frankly, his solo stuff is awesome. Uh, I didn't get where I am. Chris Difford's solo album is amazing. It's truly amazing. And his new album, which hasn't come out yet, uh, is also amazing. And I have that because I joined his uh, online music club. I didn't think that his solo album would be as good as Glenn Tilbrook's, but it's better. It's better. I, you know, Sorry, Glenn. You're, you're an amazing singer. This album is better. I didn't get where I am. Um... Oh, a lot of you might not like the, the name of this band, but this is surely a great album. Dogs Die in Hot Cars, uh, which is, I think, a warning more than, like, something offensive. This is a great album, and they only made one album. It's so good. And then, of course, since I was a teenager in the 80s, you got to have a lot of Thomas Dolby. Thomas Dolby. Boy, that's great stuff. Especially The Flat Earth. The Flat Earth. Go get, go get yourself a good Thomas Dolby album. Hello. Hi. How are you? Um, and he's recording again now, which is really exciting. Uh, let's see, here's some more old stuff, like, uh, the Dominoes. That's, you know, talking about 50s stuff, the Dominoes. Uh, the Doobie Brothers. I really enjoy early Doobie Brothers, like Toulouse Street. Nope, Kim shakes her head. She doesn't even like early Doobie Brothers. Uh, Mike Doty. Doty is good. Uh, Francis Dunnery. This guy is a great singer-songwriter from, help me out, you guys know him, maybe. Scotland? Ireland? I'm not Ireland. sure. Ireland, you think? Ireland. Boy, he's great. Tall Blonde Helicopter. Wow. Great album. Uh, let's see. Uh, the Dust Bowl Cavaliers. These are friends of ours. Um, in a, uh, a really uh, fun... Uh, what, what are they? Bluegrass? Kitty Ark? 
kind of something. I don't. I don't know. They're great. They're a lot of fun. Yeah. You guys asked me. You really better. Are. You said. You guys said you better have some Bob Dylan on CD. This is all I have, but I love it, and uh, I love his uh, his early stuff. After the '60s and early '70s, not not so much. I got some Eagles. I got some. Uh, well, Eugene Edwards is. Uh, I don't know if any of you've heard of him, but he's. If you like power pop, this guy can write a really catchy hook and a great song. Um, I have a lot of acoustic singer-songwriters. Jonathan Edwards is one of my favorites, and uh, his first album is, it goes on my top favorite albums of all time. You would know the song Sunshine, Sunshine Go Away Today. Don't Feel Much Like Dance, and that's a really good album. Um, then, let's see, a bunch of Jonathan Edwards. Then I've got Eels. That's probably my favorite, Electroshock Blues. Although Beautiful Freak and Daisies of the Galaxy are equally excellent. I have all the Eels stuff, including the MC Honky album, which is sort of an offshoot of Eels. Um, ELO, lots of ELO. Uh, Elgin Park is a good band. Everly Brothers. Eh, Everly Brothers, okay, I have them. It's history. Uh, Donald Fagan, I'm big into Steely Dan, so you gotta have the, the Fagan albums, even though they're not as good as Steely Dan. Here's an album that still holds up from the 80s, Fine Young Cannibals. Still holds up. Uh, let's see, Neil Finn, again, Crowded House, uh, and Tim Finn over here. The Five Americans, are a, um, that's a 60s band. I think they're from Dallas. And they're just kind of like a like a Beatles sort of sound-alike, you know, band, but they're a really good band, the Five Americans. Then I got The Fix. I've got Flapping Flapping. Anybody heard of them? Uh, Fleetwood Mac, lots of Fleetwood Mac. We got the buddy on the floor. That's just one. How how far are we so far into the video, sweetheart? Um, six minutes and fifty two seconds. I better hurry up. I'm gonna get through another row, and then I'm, we we're gonna call it a day. Uh, more Fleetwood Mac, and you know, and then the Fleetwoods. That's some really sweet stuff from the fifties. I love the Fleetwoods. Oh, here's some more soul. Okay, so we 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 went over like you know already James Brown and Sam Cooke. We, you know we haven't gone to Otis Redding yet. We will, but right now Eddie Floyd. Eddie. Floyd. Eddie Floyd is great. I love Eddie Floyd. Uh, he sang Knock on Wood and uh, a bunch of songs that you would know. Ben Folds. I got everything by Ben Folds 5. I can't pick a favorite because they're all good. I mean, you know, the first album is what just got me, um, you know, from the from the very beginning. But I love, I love everything by him. He's awesome. Are you looking at my beard? Checking my beard out? Um, yeah, I can't pick any favorites of Ben Folds because they're all amazing. And I got a little Fountains of Wayne. I got a little Michael Frank's Frente. I still really enjoy Frente. Ooh, this is a good album. Michael uh, Mitchell Froome is a producer. Dopamine. He's uh he's cool. He's got a bunch of bunch of like guest artists on on this album, including a song. Uh, it's pretty amazing with uh, Ron Sexsmith, one of my favorite singers, Canadian singer. Peter Gabriel, starting with Security. I've always loved Peter Gabriel. Uh, let's see. Then I've got some. Uh, I've got sort of a best of Art Garfunkel, because I love Simon and Garfunkel, but only need like one disc of, of all of Art's solo stuff. David Garza, there's another guy from Texas. And let's see, I'd pick uh, This Euphoria as my favorite David Garza album. Uh, David? David, yeah, it's not David. He pronounced it David. It's got a little accent. A little accent right there mm -hmm. over the eye. He used to be in a band called Twang Twang Shaka Boom, which was sort of fun folk I don't know. I don't know how I'm able to describe them. And then, and then the opposite of David Garza, you've got a Generation X, Billy Idol's first band, with a terrible new cover on this CD. But this is their first album uh, with a new cover, and uh, oh god, I love that. It's you know sort of a, it's a punk or punk like sort of band. And I, well, they were great. Uh, here are my two favorite Genesis albums, Duke and Abacab. I like them when they were past their most progressive stage, but before they got really poppy. So. Right in, right in this time. This and Three Sides Live, good stuff. Then we're on to Gentle Giant, talking about progressive. This is a band that I love. I really love Gentle Giant. I'd say especially these two albums, The Power and the Glory and Octopus. It's about as progressive as progressive art rock from the 70s gets, in my opinion. Oh, Freehand is also a really good album by them. Freehand. Um, yeah, I love Gentle Giant. Um, Kevin Gilbert, also along the same lines. He died masturbating. Yeah, I don't, it's not, that's not funny at all. It's, it's really sad, actually. It's a terrible way to die. Him and Michael Hutchins of, of NXS, but this is a good album. 
Thud, he used to be in a band called... Uh, is it a terrible way to die, or is it a good way to a, die, and just a terrible way to be found? It's a terrible way to be found, you're absolutely right. It's an <laughs> I would embarrassing think that it's way. it's probably a really good way to die. This is the band he used to be in, it's called Toy Matinee. This is also a kick-ass album. Really, really good stuff. Uh, then I've got some uh, John Gorka, singer-songwriter I really, really like. Um, some Grateful Dead, again, like a best of. I have some, a best of the Grateful Dead. I got some David Gray. I, I, you know, White Ladder still is just my favorite do David you, Gray album. Everybody knows that album, I think. Do you want me to tell you that you're at 1025? Are we? T okay, I'm going to finish this up then. Then the Grays. The Grays is a really cool band that had John Bryan in it. And, uh, oh, I love the Grays. Uh, Al Green. Got to have some Al Green. Nancy Griffith. That's I barely kind of dip my toe into country occasionally. So Nancy Griffith is about as far as I'll go. Um, I got Grupo Sportivo. I won't even tell you about them. Uh, let's see. Gus, Guster, Tom T. Hall. I have a Tom T. Hall album. Yeah, I, I won't, I won't get into that either. Uh, John Wesley Harding I really like. I've got like, this is all John Wesley Harding. And then some Ben Harper and lots of George Harrison. That's pretty much the rest of this is all George Harrison's albums. And I probably like his, his self-titled album the best from the mid-70s. It's not one that people normally pick, but I love that. Oh, and then it ends up with uh, with some Ted Hawkins. Ted Hawkins was a uh, uh, kind of like a, I guess, a, a busker or whatever you call it, a, a singer just kind of on the street on Venice Venice Beach. And uh, he recorded for years and then kind of just played on the streets until uh, Sean Penn's brother, Michael Penn, who's also extraordinarily talented, found him and they made this album together. And then after that, he died. Um, really, really good the next hundred years. Okay, that's, uh, that's me rambling about music. If I, uh, if, if you didn't see anything, now we got up to H today, so if you didn't see anything up from A to H that you like, let me know what I'm missing. I'll tell you, maybe I have it on iTunes, but I'm, I'm all up for getting recommendations from you guys, and thanks for watching my long, boring video again, but I love music, and I love talking about music, so I'll talk to you guys later. Have a great day. Bye, buddy. Who's a boy? Roll over. Oh, the buddy. Oh, he's a boy. He's a buddy. Yes, you are. Mwah.